Hey Martin, Tim here. Gonna take a few minutes just to quickly show you how you can uh, take this student's work here. I think this was it from the tweet you put out there. And how you can use GeoGebra to test uh, the student's um, conjectures. So there it is. Just gonna put it there for reference. So we're gonna build these two trapezoids quick using the rigid polygon tool. It's right there in the polygon. You could use it with the regular polygon tool where you could change the shape, but rigid keeps it rigid. And when I do transformations, I kind of like to do it that way, at least only to start. So let's make it. So we have what we have one, two, three, four, five at the bottom. Right? That's four, five. Then we go up four and over one and then there. And now from point C, it looks like we're going down one over one, two, three, four, five, down one over one, three, four, five. So we put a point there. We're going to go up five, two, three, four, five, over four, one, two, three, four. And there it is, right? Back to the move arrow. So these are the original positions of the, of the figures, the pre-image and the image, right? So now uh, let's make the perpendicular or parallel line there. So what I'm going to do is we'll pick the parallel line. To, well, first of all, let's put a point here. It'll put the midpoint. Uh, where's the midpoint tool? It's right there. Midpoint or center. We'll plot the midpoint of CK. Because now what we need is a, a parallel line. Right there. We'll make a parallel line through L that's parallel to say HG. So I'll click on HG and click on L. And I could even go over here and dash it if I want. See what I mean? And I'll go back to the move arrow up here. So now, now we're ready. First of all, we have to position it. So now let's use the transformational geometry tools here. I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit so we can see. So the student said, rotate shape H 90 degrees clockwise about point C. So we're going to use the rotate tool. That can be found under the transformational geometry tools here. Rotate around point. Okay. So to use that tool, simply drag a rectangle around any everything you want to rotate, which is all this stuff. Now we select point C. Click on C. And I'm going to change it to 90 degrees and click on clockwise and hit OK. So there's the first step. Now the student says, translate down one unit and translate four units left. So I'm going to do these two in one step. Okay, one down one, four left. Okay, so that would be, let's make a vector that shows that. And that's over here. Under the line tools, vector is down there. We'll click on vector. So that's really the vector negative four comma one. So go there, negative four. One and I can put that vector anywhere I want. Okay, so there it is. So the student wants to translate this shape basically down one and four left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the transformational tools again and I'm gonna go to translate by vector. Okay, we'll take this new image, click on that, and click on the vector. There's the next one. Okay. And now the student says reflect this about L, and you can really see now that it's totally going to work. All right, but to do it, again, we'll use the reflect tool, which is in that same menu. All right? Reflect about line. Click on the object, click on the line, and voila. There you go. So I'll leave this, uh, I'll leave this uh, up for you there. Um, just this app there, really. But honestly, you could do this in the GeoGebra Classic app pretty uh, quite easily. So hope this answers your question.